We begin with breaking news, a guilty plea from the co-owner of a business that bought and sold cut up human body parts. Today, the wife took a deal. The husband is going to trial. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner has been on this case since it broke more than two years uh, ago. Jim is live in the newsroom with a significant development here today, Jim. Yeah, indeed. This is huge. An insider to this black market business right here in Detroit flips and will work with the feds to solidify their case against her now estranged husband. I guarantee my brother's head sitting on a box somewhere on someone's shelf. Oh my God. Makes your stomach jump. You know, I, I don't know what's going on. Those are family members in Phoenix reacting to the news that the bodies of their loved ones may have been sitting here inside this shabby Detroit warehouse on the east side. It appears to be an industry that is not highly regulated. That was Detroit U.S. Attorney Barb McQuaid after the husband and wife, Art and Beth Rathburn, were charged in January with wire fraud, false statements to the feds, transportation of hazardous materials, 20 years in prison if convicted. But now 56 year old Beth Rathburn pleading guilty to one count of fraud and a reduced sentence. The evidence in this case going from Detroit to Chicago and Phoenix, where bodies donated for science could not and would not be sold for a profit. But in December of 2013, body parts of more than a thousand different people were found right here in Detroit. It turns out some may have been diseased with hepatitis, HIV, and all were sold or even rented to doctors to practice medical procedures. The case shocking to loved ones, thinking they were just helping science without a profit motive. Very difficult, and I'm waiting upon the body parts to come home, but I just have to wait longer. And more charges could be coming for others in the biz in Chicago and Phoenix. Art Rathburn set to go on trial here in Detroit. Beth Rathburn now set for sentencing in July. She's now looking at only 10 months in prison rather than 20 years. Live in the newsroom, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you much, Jim. As